Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Nolan. I used to be a second grade teacher here at Endeavor. I love Endeavor and I'm gonna read you one of my very favorite books, The Halloweener. There once was a dog named Oscar who was half a dog tall and one and a half dogs long. Because of his unusual shape and size, all the other dogs made fun of him. Wiener dog, wiener dog, they called him. And Oscar did not like it one bit. Nobody likes to be made fun of. Oscar's mother was no help either. Every morning when the dogs walked off to obedience school, Oscar's mother stood in the front yard waving and calling out, Farewell, my little Vienna sausage. Happy Halloween, my little sausage link, said Oscar's mother. I've made you a costume to wear for trick or treats. When Oscar saw the costume, he nearly fainted. Uh-oh, let's find out. It was a giant hot dog bun, complete with mustard. And guess who was supposed to fit in the middle? I think we know. Oscar did not want to hurt his mother's feelings, so he decided to wear the silly costume. What a good Oscar. That night, all the dogs on the block gathered to show off their costumes. Everyone was looking quite scary. Then Oscar showed up looking quite Frank. Get it? A hot, another name for a hot dog is a Frank. When the dog saw Oscar in his silly costume, they howled with laughter. Look at Oscar, they cried. He really is a wiener dog. Poor Oscar was so embarrassed. Wiener dog, wiener dog, laughed the other dogs as they ran off to the trick-or-treating. Oscar tried to keep up with the dogs, but his silly costume was slowing him down. Plus, he's got those short little legs. All night long, the other dogs hounded every tree they could get their paws on. So by the time Oscar got to each house, there were no treats left. Oh no. Soon trick-or-treating was over and the dogs walked home past a spooky graveyard. Suddenly a horrible hissing sound filled the air the dog stopped dead in their tracks. Sounds scary. Then out of the graveyard rose a ghastly monster. The dogs screamed for their lives. They dropped their treats and jumped into a nearby pond. The monster moved closer. Please don't eat us, cried the dogs. Now they're very scared. The monster jumped up and down. Somebody save us, shrieked the dogs. Just then, somebody showed up. It was Oscar. Because Oscar was so short, he saw something that the other dogs didn't. That's no monster, cried Oscar, and with a loud bark, Oscar waddled to the rescue. Oscar chomped and tugged with all his might. I see some feet down there. Rip! And there, standing in the moonlight, were a couple of ornery cats. Uh-oh. Help, cried the cats. 
were being attacked by a giant frankfurter. And they ran off screaming through the graveyard. The dogs in the pond had seen the whole thing and now it was their turn to be embarrassed. We've been chased into a pond by a couple of cats, they moaned. But Oscar was a true friend. He leaped into the water and swam out to the dogs. Oscar's silly costume made a wonderful life raft. And the dogs climbed up. All aboard, Oscar called, and the dog paddled back to shore. Or dogs, I should. Oh, and he dog paddled back to shore. When they got back to the dry land, all the dogs shared their Halloween treats with Oscar. Well, that's only fair. Because Oscar had been so brave, the dogs changed his nickname from Wiener Dog to Hero Sandwich. And from that night on, nobody ever made fun of Oscar again. Happy Halloween! The end. Okay. My next book is called Frankie Stein. Frankie Stein came into the world on a bright, sunny day. He doesn't quite look like his mom and dad. Our son announced his proud parents and they rushed to his side. Oh my, said his mother, he's cute. Why doesn't he look scary like us? Asked his father. I don't know, said his mother but with our help, I'm sure he will. His dad's not so sure though. She's reading him scary stories. Mr. and Mrs. Frank and Stein showered their son with scariness. They made faces at him. They shouted boo and gotcha and every night they read him stories by candlelight. One day while feeding Frankie, his father was shocked to see a lock of sun gold hair. What's that? He asked. I can take care of that, said his mother. During a game of peekaboo, Frankie's face shone pink and smooth. We can take care of that said his parents. Little by little, Frankie began to look like a Stein. I'm starting to see a resemblance, said his mother. Yes, but he still isn't all that scary, said his father. That's true, said his mother, but at least Frankie can act scary like us. Indeed, said his father. Mrs. Frank N. Stein taught Frankie how to walk. Hold your arms out straight, said his mother. Frankie did. Now take big, slow steps. And she said, like this. Frankie tried, he really did but his walk was more of a bounce. Mr. Frank Einstein taught Frankie how to moan. Open your mouth wide, said his father. Frankie did. Now groan long and loud, he said, like this. Oh. Frankie tried, he really did, but his moan was more a squeak. Oh, oh. Well, Frankie 
might not have all our scary looks, said his mother. And he might not act scary like us, said his father. But he is a Stein, they said. Maybe he just needs a little inspiration. So they're going to show him the family, the family tree, it looks like. That night, Frankie's mother and father pulled the family tree from the closet. This is your Uncle Franklin, said Mr. Frank M. Stein to his son. His laugh turns men to stone. Frankie chuckled. This is your great granddaddy, Frank the Gripper, said Mrs. Frank N. Stein. We can hold the attention of an entire town. Frankie flexes when Frankie flexes his muscles. And this is your grandmother, Frances, and Mr. and Mrs. Frank N. Stein. She's coming. She's always full of surprises, said his mother. Frankie raised his eyebrows. So you see, son, said Frankie's father, you came from a long line of Steins, each one different but scary. Indeed, said Frankie, studying each family member, and I'll be scary too. Just wait and see. For the next few weeks, Frankie stayed in his room and practiced scary. Frankie tried and tried, but he just couldn't look or act like his parents. Instead, Frankie decided on his own kind of scary. Hmm, I wonder what that's gonna be. Well, there he is. Early one morning, Frankie made a grand appearance. Well, what do you think, he asked his parents. Horrifying, yelled his mother and father. They threw their hands in front of their faces. Oh no, they're so scared that he doesn't look like them. If you think that's scary, said Frankie, watch this. He wrapped his arms around his parents and hugged them tight. Spine tingling, blurted Mr. and Mrs. Frank N. Stein between gasps. Then Frankie leaned close and gave them each a big lip smacking kiss. Uh-oh, they look pretty scared. Mr. and Mrs. Frank N. Stein clutched their hearts Scary! They shrieked and they fainted dead away. Oh no. From the, that day forward, Frankie Stein was considered the scariest Stein of all. And Francis, Francie Stein came into the world. Look, and Francie looks kind of like Frankie. The end. Well, it's been fun reading those two stories to you, and I hope everybody has a very happy and safe Halloween. Thank you. Bye-bye.